Good morning, guys. Can you hear me, guys? All right. Blink and solo, yeah, maybe. This QS is a beast, now more than a double from the entry. Or actually, it's almost a double, I mean. I sold some pre market. Looks like the coins are gapping up. So now I'm using Friday's lows as my stop for everything. Yeah, yeah, GME is going higher from that perfect breakout a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, NGA is another one. AEZS. There's no EP on this thing, just a random penny stock. have a position in Tesla anymore because I sold it too early 
I didn't follow my cell rules and if you don't follow your cell rules you suck that's what I I sold Tesla like 10% ago and now I'm um, kind of regretting it every time I look at it yeah LAC is holding Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Pack B broke out on Friday. Yeah, but it's still a penny stock. I mean, it's just a random. It's probably just a random pump. It's probably insignificant. Unless there were some insignificant news, but I doubt it since it's a, again, it's a penny stock. Don't trade them. There's no need to trade those stupid penny stocks. In my opinion. Nope, that wasn't me. <laughs> For once it wasn't me. Okay, so... Let's see, chew me up Palantir from Friday. Looks like Chumia is gapping down some. But it's still way above the 10 day. I think it's going to hit the 10 day. Or maybe not. But I'm betting on it. So I don't know. And Palantir, I think this thing may hit the 10 day also. It had a weird week in pre market. It didn't, it didn't trade down here. And still, this one too, there's like almost 20% under the 20 day, uh, 10 day. And XBEV is right on this. Uh, support level you know if it finally breaks down it could well it could break down and mrna is the ne next parabolic crazy i have no desire stepping in front of it but if i see a good setup i'm gonna do i'm gonna do some <clears throat> Yeah, I added some uh, pre-market on Palantir. Since it was so tight and liquid. Yeah, Appen I covered up on Friday. But if I see a good re-entry, I may... Nah, I don't know. We'll see. <clears throat> so many things to trade right now. It's easy to start focusing on too many. It's better to focus on a few. QS insane. Ah, it's only up 20%. It's not insane. Wake me up when this thing goes to 100. Solid state batteries, this thing should go to 100 by tomorrow. Yes, no, I would love to have one more day, but it's getting there. It's kind of straight up from the lows, but it's not really as extended as I would like it to be. But So I'm not going to really watch it. Lift tight, tight flag. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of, yeah, it's a powerful flag pattern. Yep. I think the 20 day needs to catch up though. <clears throat> yes David you should buy QS right here before it's too late right here David it's a great buy here it's gonna go 100 plus it's solid state batteries Bill Gates is in it Volkswagen is the biggest shareholder David it's a great buy Yes, not only your whole account, but also margin. Don't forget, very important you also use margin on this trade. I mean, I mean this investment. <laughs> 
how come David gets the all good setups? Because I'm, he's my only friend. I only give him the best stocks. <laughs> yeah, guys, don't don't buy that thing right here. I'm I'm just messing around with David. Don't ever buy anything. Uh, Anything I trade. Don't ever trade anything I trade, pretty much. You should focus on your own setups. Fuel cell? Yeah, it's yeah, I told you it, it was a great investment. It's already back. You had a little bit of a dip and now it's gonna go to fifty. Uh Peloton. Yeah, it's setting up. It's setting up. <clears throat> All right. I really don't like days like this when there's so many things going on. Not my favorite types of days. I always get so stressed out. <laughs> okay. Let's see what we get here today. Yeah, no knocko today. I forgot to buy. Unfortunately, no knocko today. ABML. Oh, it's one of these battery related stocks. Okay, good luck, everyone.
EMD is finally breaking out, yep. Guess I should have held that being on from Friday. Okay.
Yeah, JD is failing here. Trying, or it's testing the 20 with moving average. That is, it's not failing yet. Or well, it depends on where one center was, I guess. <clears throat> Apple is breaking out again, trying to break out. Interesting. I did a little bit of a starter in Tesla, just in case. I'm tightening up a lot of stops. 
things are getting a bit extended some things that is And IO is starting to lose some support levels too. Guys, is everything like hard to borrow for you guys today in center point? It's pretty weird. Like everything is hard to borrow. I have to get a borrow on everything. On these things that are usually easy to borrow, like Tesla and IO. They, they're always been easy to borrow. I, I've never paid for a locate and now today I have to pay locate for everything It's kind of weird I'm only using uh, asking center point guys center point users Is there something with my system or is it like for everyone?
Wait, what? I didn't get filled on mRNA? Wait, 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 what? Oh my god, this is not happening. My stop didn't trigger. Something I need to take a talk with center point today. Things are not really like everything is hard to borrow. It's what the fuck is going on? I've been selling down on some of my lungs that were kind of extended. Okay, I got some mRNA on this push starter. Fastly, uh, I don't know. It's taking out the brain share, but I'm not sure about. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it may work, but I, I I think the market is a little bit extended short term. Maybe I don't know. Or at least a lot of names are. I I don't know if breakers are gonna work right now. Maybe they are.
Okay, so now we had a little bit of pullback. Let's see what stocks are holding up the best. I got into a lot of shorts. Uh, so depending on how things act into the close, I may cover a lot of shorts or I may sell a lot of longs. Right now I have way too many positions. I'm going to get down to like 22 positions or something before the market close. I did a lot of these shorts. Let's see if which, which things have followed through. Did I sell? Uh, no, I didn't. Oh. Okay, so mRNA reclaiming VWAP for now. If it fails VWAP here, I may add more. Max IPO, someone asked about it earlier. Yeah, it's flagging nicely. Very thin stock, but uh, it's not flagging nicely. Apps, oh, yeah, wow, it's going. Okay, mRNA on VWAP again. There's still a lot of stocks uh, like having follow through moves from the breakout. So there's nothing really um, 
I did size down some of the things that were straight up from entry. But um, other than that, I'm not really worried about the markets. AMD is going, it's just breaking out to this weekly flag. Last time it had went up 45% in like two weeks when it last time broke out of a t uh, flag like this. Or actually almost 50%. So this thing has potential, good risk reward. Okay, mRNA, let's see here. What the hell is going on? My stops are not triggering on center point. Uh, what? Guys, anyone else having trouble with center point? Like, everything is fucked up. My stops are not triggering. Things are hard to borrow. Like, what the fuck? Like, I rarely have problems with center point, but and this is a, a, such a random day to have troubles. Like, like when other brokers have issues, it's usually one of these uh, heavy gap down days or heavy down days. Those are the days when center point works fine. And this is just a random day and I have issues with center point. It's kind of random. <laughs> kind of random. Looks like Palantir wants to go red.
<laughs> Mara and Riot and Chibi TC. Such beasts. Incredible beasts. I hope this MRNA goes to 200 by tomorrow. It's gonna be, I think it may be an even bigger opportunity than Palantir. Once we get a setup. I just wish I had bought it on the flag breakout. Yeah, I could get stopped out when it reclaimed MRN, uh, MRNA, <laughs> VVAP, when it reclaimed VVAP. the news on this CAS, China Auto Motive Systems. Electric power steering. Well, I guess I'll put it in the EV stocks then. It's a, it says electric. Yeah, Shopify, well, Shopify had a, br yeah, well, it's not really a breakout, it's a continuation move, but. AMD is so strong.
Palantir about to go red. KC, shine on him, what's that? KC, yeah, he broke out on Friday. I was just long, but it's a wide and loose one. Good revenue growth, though. Apple keeps going. Well, PLL, I'm long. Those are my thoughts on it. I'm long until it stops me out. The whole sector is strong. It's battery metals. QS breaking lows. Nope, not yet. I should probably sell <laughs> the rest. Well, we'll see where it closes. We'll see. ALB, I don't see anything here. So is the Bitcoin uh, bear market over? So no, 
Yeah, it's flagging here. That's that's true. It's too thin for me, but at great turning speed and. Um, AMD going, yep, nice, finally. AQB I don't know what the news are but yeah looks good if you bought it opening range highs line I don't see a good setup here Semar so has some problems with this 550 area So mRNA tried to undercut VVAP, but looks like it's reclaiming now. That's a sign of strength. That's a sign of strength, how fast it's reclaiming VVAP. <clears throat> Palantry keeps fading. It's 
nice. I'm just covering a little bit on the way down. MSDR not here, not as Bitcoin is hitting uh, all time highs. I think this thing goes to 4500 or something crazy this week. But it will be an insane short eventually, but um, just not here, not now, not yet. It's too early. Okay, mRNA failed to reclaim VBAP, interesting. Or, well, it's too early to tell. It's too early to tell. But if it re re uh, fails to reclaim VWAP, I'm gonna reshort. But right now it's just on the VWAP. You sold Bitcoin? I didn't hold Bitcoin. I don't have any Bitcoin. Oh, well, I have some in my Coinbase account. I think you're talking about GBTC. Because GBTC bounced off the 20 day on Friday. That's why I held it. Your IB account was finally approved for Estonian firm. Yeah, I need to do that too. I need to get a, get on it. Tesla looks like it wants to take another leg lower potentially. Both. I look at both. Yeah, I am watching NVIDIA, <clears throat> I am. Looks like the EVs are getting shelled here. Oh, QS is bouncing, nice. Okay, so I think I'm gonna tighten up my Stop on it to the lows of the day. It's trying to reclaim Viva, or actually a little bit below the 65 EMA on the 5 minute. It's 
Snapchat stop you out? How is that even possible? How could it stop you out? It's way up from the breakout. What do you mean risk tolerance lower? What do you even mean? Where did you buy this thing to begin with? If you bought it correctly, this, there's no reason. Why didn't you get stopped out, stopped out here? Versus today. I mean, I, I don't get it, man. I don't get it. Wait, you bought it today? Is that what you're saying? Tesla is damn. I didn't add on a, a, any Tesla, but it's tr it's um, it's kind of fading. I did do XPEV and IO though, <coughs> and those things are just going straight down. Palantir going straight down. Bought at 41.15, so how do you get stopped out? Like, why didn't you, you, you get stopped out on this day? Like, it was lower on this day. I don't get it. I don't understand your sell rules. Zoom, Zoom has earnings after hours. I wouldn't do anything with it before, before earnings. I wouldn't be touching it. <clears throat> Be careful touching soon. He hit candy. Where was he three days ago? Two days ago. Dun, dun, dun. MRNA is still building higher lows intraday. PL and TR. Now this thing, this thing breaks the 20 EMA on the 60. It's gonna go down to like 22 bucks. There's no support down to like 22 bucks. That's a big move potentially. That's a potentially big big move.
Holy shit, Tesla, I need to cover up a little bit here. That's a big, big move. Yeah, big reversal in a lot of these EVs and solars and things like that. A question is, are we going to hold? Or, or, I mean, are we going to bounce? Yeah, I'm just waiting for this AMD reverse hard too. This is not really a um, breakout type of a day. Oh, fuel cell, I missed this one unfortunately. There's so many things on watch, man. So many things. Can't catch them all.
Well, Candy, we've known this thing is a scam for many years now. It's an old time scam. This uh, company exists to fleece uh, stupid American investors. Like a lot of these China small caps. Their only <coughs> reason for existence is to scam US investors. AWH, I guess it looks okay. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, guys, the, the markets are pulling back. There's, we've had a his, November was a historic month for a lot of stock indices. It, it's not the end of the world, guys. Don't get too bearish here. There were things that were extended, hence why. We, yeah, app and I should have held. Fuck, I messed that one up. We'll see how we close. We could close, we could bounce into the close, or we could obviously close slower. A lot of stocks are pulling back pretty hard, but then, uh, but then also a lot of them are right on like bounce spots. So we'll see. Congrats. Well, what is this AQB? I know someone bought it today. What is this piece of shit? Not seeing any news on it right now. Anyone know what it is? Salmon farming? Okay. So MRNA is 
failing VWAP again. Or at least trying to. Palantir taking out Lowe's again. Pretty epic so far. Yep, PLTR straight down. PLTR, I would say the 10 day moving average is the first support and the 20 day is the second, but I'm not sure it's going to reach the 20 day anytime soon, but the 10 day, you know, it could reach it today, but I'm going to, you know, cover up my most once it gets to the 10 day. Yeah, things are starting to speed up on the downside. Unfortunately, also my lungs are speeding up on the downside. So <laughs> even though I'm up like a million or so on my shorts today, or actually a million and a half, I'm down that amount on my lungs. So it's not really helping me. But we'll see. The lungs are all like longer term. And the shorts are shorter term. So we'll see. I mean full size mRNA now. It's kind of been confirming below the VWAP, and uh, we'll see where this thing can go. 
hopefully phase back to 130 or something crazy. That would be epic. Oh, PLTR. Ooh. What's wrong with the market? It's just one down day, guys. Chill out. Just one down day. We've had an epic run in November. Nothing is wrong with the market. Sometimes the market has red days. There's nothing wrong with the market. That's just how it is. There was a little bit of excessive bullishness. People got a little bit too cocky because November was such an easy month and now we're just pulling the pulling the rug on these people who don't who can't handle a red day. That's what's going on. Yeah. Follow your sell rules, like make sure you buy, you know, stocks breaking out of sound bases and follow your sell rules. Don't freak out just because the uh, market is having one red day. Like Russell had an enormous run back in November, or actually from like late October. It was one of the best months for Russell uh, in a long time. Tonight we dine in hell? Uh, hopefully not. <laughs> hopefully not. I don't want to dine in hell. Hey, David. David. Do you want to dine in hell? Yeah, today is a great day to look for relative strength. Today is base building. In Valhalla, yeah. Hey, David, do you want to dine in hell? No, thank you. Yeah, that's what I said. Doesn't sound, uh, that doesn't sound nice. But it's an awesome movie quote though. Isn't it from 300? I think it's from the movie 300. Or is it from Gladiator? Wait. Uh, oh, I don't know. It's one of those two movies, I think. 300, yeah. Man, this MRNA, uh, it's still building higher lows. I don't think it wants to crack. It only uh, downtick because the markets were so weak. But now it's building another higher low. I'm probably going to stop, get stopped out of it. Going to take a pretty decent loss on it. Nah, not a pretty decent. Um. So now we are bouncing again in the markets, QS is just holding the 65 EMA on the 5 minutes so far, or for now, we'll see. Oh wait, AMD, wait, did it stop me up? No it didn't because my... Stops are not working. What? I oh I I think I have to restart my platform. Even AMD had a big flush. Hmm. I did, I missed it. Uh. You know what? I'm gonna use Friday's close as my stop. Or wait. Yeah. Friday's close.
And now we'll see how powerfully things bounce. Now we want to see which ones bounce the strongest with the market here and which ones don't bounce well. These types of days give you a lot of uh, important information really, these down days. Yeah, exactly. The 10 day is a very important uh, na um, area for for a lot of these momentum momentum names. That is true. That's why I use the 10 and 20 because they're so significant. Really, really significant. How's my Lego going? I haven't... Uh, maybe I'll uh, build some tonight. Actually, I'm gonna use the lows of the day as my final stop on AMD. This is the position I've had for a, like a week now. Just been low, higher. Uh, I've been raising my stops. Yeah, I'm gonna use the low lower today as my final stop. Can you? Yeah, David, you're always welcome to come over and help me build my Lego. loser <laughs> I cover into strength I think the word you're looking for cover into weakness ask Reno yeah Reno can help me my girlfriend helped me it took uh, like there are like 30 400 or 3700 pieces in the set I bought It was the biggest box in the Lego store, so I bought it Renault loves Legos there you go uh, Yeah, exactly my mom <laughs> Yeah in the basement Step mom Yeah, you could see it that way because I'm still, you know, bullish into year end. I think we are gonna go higher into year end, uh, but you know, short term, obviously, it's gonna be red days. I mean, that's how just how the markets work. Uh, and yeah, you could see it that way that the low, uh, the shorts are like hedges. Like the shorts, are, these shorts are usually, you know, a couple of days. I, I rarely hold them, you know, long. I, I just don't have any patience. Do I have a flip phone? 
No, it's my case, my phone case. No one has a flip phone. Maybe David has a flip phone. Hey David, do you have a flip phone? Why is this very up this much? What's the news on very? Or what's like what's the story on this thing? I think it was like an AI stock a couple of years ago when with nuts, yeah. It was an AI pump. Or was it wait, what what was the pump? It was Yeah, AI, that was the thing. It was an AI stock, so it went up uh, 800% almost. Why not? Machine. Oh, now it's machine learning. Oh, there you go. There you go. Okay, it looks like this mRNA is failing on the VWAP again. That's pretty interesting. I want to add more. I'm short 50,000 shares on, on mRNA, but if I get another ad spot, I may add more. But right now it's kind of holding up still. It needs to, you know, start violating that mid 143s. A very? I don't know if it's a pump or not. I was just looking, asking for a story on it. I don't know anything about it, but I just, apparently they had a PR. All right, let's see. What? Okay, Chumia is not able to bounce yet. Xbev is trying to bounce off the 10 day. NIO undercut the 10 day. This thing literally cannot hold below the 10 day. Like, it's this thing hasn't below been below the 10 day since, like, late September. Or it's been, like, uh, you know, surfing the 10 days since. Pretty amazing. And it's been barely below the 20 day since May. Pretty amazing. This is why the 10 and 20 are so significant. Like the strongest stocks, they rarely violate those. FSR, okay, things are starting to bounce here. And depend, oh, okay, and depending on how violently things bounce, that's what determines if what I'm gonna hold overnight, what I'm gonna uh, size down on, etc., etc. Like I'm not gonna hold 26 positions overnight. That's like I'm not suicidal. <laughs> we'll see. We will see. For now, things are bouncing very nicely. Okay, mRNA, let's see if it can reclaim VWAP. I think it actually wants to reclaim VWAP. Probably wants to. GBTC taking out lows of the day, okay. My target for mRNA? I don't know. 140? No, so not 140. 130? 120? Not today, but you know, it depends. But I, I don't think it's gonna go lower. I, I think this thing wants to go to like 200 or something. I really hope this thing goes to 200 this week. I really, really hope. Damn, I want a Noko. Hey, anyone lives close to Stockholm? I want to deliver me a Noko. What happened to KCAC? It's QS now.
Yeah, it's an energy drink. Not in this weather. <laughs> yeah, ERC. The yeah, all the vaccine names are going. Envax, etc. Yeah, yeah. They all. Oh, yeah, David. I know. Fuck off, right? Yeah, I know what you're gonna say. Oh, okay. <laughs> 414 viewers? Yeah. Actually, 400. 411 idiots watching an idiot trade. Yeah, it's snow in uh, through that, yeah. Well, we are proud idiots. At least we know we are idiots, right? We don't pretend to be anything else. They were bots. Probably half of them are bots. I wouldn't be surprised. David, do you want... Nah, I don't need your money, David. I want a knock I don't want money. Straight autistic. <laughs> How do you know I'm an idiot? Because you're watching an idiot trade. <laughs> no, I don't have any ties with Noko. Other that, nah, I like the product. Uh, let's see here. Oh, well, I also sold my PLL. I had half from Friday left. It just, you know. It's still building higher lows, though, and I'll, I'll rebuy if it sets up nicely. I have ties with Narco. Yeah, I have ties with Narcos. This mRNA is actually still building lower highs. Very interesting. Maybe it can actually have a meaningful pullback. I've been skeptical, but... Maybe not. It's just in a range of death right now. Yes, mRNA is a parabolic short setup. That is true. Just like um, Palantir was on Friday and Fuel Cell and stuff like that were on Wednesday, I think it was. It's the same setup over and over and over again. Cannabis stocks, I don't see any setups there. I missed the perfect setup in Tilray on Friday, but um, that's that. I really don't see right anything right there. They probably need a few weeks to set up. Percent? Nah, you know, I usually 10, 20 day moving averages are my targets. Palantir built a base. Um, I don't know about built a base, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure it's gonna go much lower. Actually, gonna tighten up my stop. OPK, uh, it looks like it doesn't look great.
Wait, what looks like it's flagging on the five minute? 18. Oh, mRNA. Yeah, I mean, look, it's it it's it's probably gearing for a move higher. I wouldn't. I mean, look. I mean, it's it looks actually pretty bullish, or I don't know. It it looks both bullish and bearish. But yeah, it, it's it's kind of building higher lows and lower highs. So it's you know, it's kind of a gamble right there. It it either needs to break out or break down. I just size down on it as it um, is perking here, trying to reclaim VVAP. I'm probably gonna si uh, uh, cover everything soon. I, I hope it goes higher. Like, I want this thing to go higher. I want to uh, short it higher tomorrow or the day after tomorrow or whenever we gonna get us set up again. I still think I should have a wider stop on this QS. QS way lower. QS I, b b um, I bought it somewhere like 22 bucks or something like that. 22 I think. Yeah, I bought it the day before. But, uh, you know, it was pure luck. Like, I was just trading the price section, and I saw Dantes, you know, writing some really bullish thing, things about it on Twitter. So that's why I bought it. I didn't know it was going <laughs> to, the merger was going to close the day after. Not that it matters. You know, it would have gone up anyways. Because the price section was so good. So... Right now, I've just been erasing a lot of stops. When I said my 
uh, I'm, my targets on the shorts are is the 10 or the 20 day moving average what time well since I'm talking about the 10 and the 20 day moving averages I'm talking about the daily chart So mRNA is just on this VWAP again, the tight, tight range. Favorite Twitter profiles? Well, go to my Twitter and see who's, who I'm following. Okay, I'm gonna cut the stream now. I'm gonna play uh, Total War Warhammer 2. Stream the game? Nah. Shadowlands? Nah. I always get addicted to World of Warcraft. I don't wanna get addicted again. I don't I haven't played Napoleon Total War. But I played most of the others. Actually I, there's a lot of them I haven't played but <laughs> loser. Fuck you, David. Go play with your toy guns. David is hoarding toy guns. What a loser. Yeah, I, I showed it PLTR. Shogun 2, best one. Okay, guys, I'm going to cut the stream now. <clears throat> Thanks for joining, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good luck, everyone.